Dan? Um, probably the closest thing in our area to this that anybody's ever tried any of this, and, that, and keeping in mind this proposal is the tip of the spear, you know, because I don't think anybody else has tried anything even close to this except for maybe Ashland with their restaurant tax. When Ashland, I'm going to assume that when Ashland proposed their restaurant tax, that they had a room full of people just similar to the room full of people we have here saying absolutely not, it's going to, my restaurant's done, I'm down the tubes, I'm out of here. Do you know how many of those restaurants actually closed? And I think they've had it now through another cycle to where they put it back to the voter, do you want to renew this tax? And was it re was it re out? You know, I only had some uh, some kind of informal discussions with the finance director of the city of Ashland, who's been there a long time and was there when uh, when that program first came up about 25 years ago. Uh, some of the uh, concerns that have been voiced here are very similar to the concerns that were voiced back then. Uh, he says it's worked very well to meet the revenue goals for the city of Ashland. Uh, it helps fund their their wastewater system uh, and some other things. Uh, it was voted on 25 years ago with a, a sunset clause, and they uh, re-upped it. They, uh, so uh, about five years ago, they had another vote on it, and they voted to continue it in Ashland. So um, he, he, uh, he didn't imply that, uh, that it was problematic for the, uh, the food and beverage businesses in Ashland that have, that have to report under the program. From a standpoint of the sales tax, I've commented on this since my first election that I don't support sales taxes that are just in a place that doesn't have a defense against it. Basically, Ashland has a sales tax because there's nowhere else to go on the West Coast um, for Shakespearean theater. <clears throat> and they have a draw that's going to draw people regardless of what kind of uh, local taxes they put in. Josephine County grants pass, we're not in the same um, sphere I would say, is some of those cities as, as Jackson County has, Jacksonville and Ashland. Um, but at the same time, I'm supportive of the idea of um, a municipality within Josephine County coming up with a local creative solution. And if the citizens of Grants Pass are receptive to the idea, far be it from me for a commissioner to say otherwise. Um, it's something, if they want to give it a shot for a little while, um, that's the other concern is that there really isn't a time frame on it. But citizens can, uh, as they have in the past, put forth peti petitions to change something, anything that they feel is, uh, is not appropriate for our area. So um, I like the idea that it's a creative solution. It also puts the issue to rest if it is passed or failed.